Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry, and this is now me doing the bonus question. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about, you know, today's bonus question. I'm going to do it hard today. Uh, um, okay, fine. Let's actually just let the RNG choose, because I don't know. If you're doing it at home with me, then, you know, I uh, want it to be fair. So let, let's see. Okay. Subscribe. Do, 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 do. We have to find it. Uh, uh, one that does not require a subscription because I'm cheap and I haven't paid for it. Maybe one day I'll pay for it. Anyway, okay, so we're getting a easy day. So 914, X of a kind in a deck of cards. Okay, in a deck of cards, each card has a number or integer written on it. We turn true if you can choose X over 2 or X is greater than 2 such that it's possible to split the deck into one or more group of cards where each group has exactly X cards and each cards have the same number. Okay, so basically the idea is, actually it's kind of very similar to the problem that we did today because it's kind of like, okay, so we have, you know, let's say we put them all in a counter, right? Then now what? Well, then now the values, um, we set it, it's um, length of this is equal to one. I think that's pretty much it. Right, when, unless I misunderstood this part, because they have all the top partition. This is actually wrong because x has to be greater than or equal to 2. So, but this is like mostly right, um, but it's not right because of that. Like, I could try it. Um, and if this was a contest, I would be very sad if I submitted this. I think that's why I've been kind of, I don't know. But yeah, as you can see, I return true because there's no. Uh, um, the number of counts is always whatever, but yeah, eh. I mean, you can, this becomes a little bit awkward now, but, um, eh, okay, let's just write it this way. Do, um, set is equal to all this stuff, and then one, and max of s is equal, to, uh, is greater than one, right? So I think that should be good, but, you know, eh. It's not as cool as a one-liner, but we'll see if that works. Maybe I missed some case as well. Oh, no. Oh, huh. I really did misunderstand this one. I guess in this... Uh, okay, fine. I don't know if I misunderstood it, but I did miss an edge case. That's kind of a... Because um, the idea here is that... Do I wow for Yeezy? I'm not gonna lie, I underestimated this because it was easy. I was like, Yeezy, maybe I'll try to you know do something cute and clever. Uh, even then, there was a, a thing, but the idea here is that basically you could split into groups of two by squaring this into two. Um, and then the next idea would be to just you know take the min and then you know put it into multiples, but then that's when you get into issues of you know GCD and stuff like that, right? So and that's pretty much the idea, I think, is that we now do the GCD of all these things, um, and then just making sure that, uh, I've always forget where the GCD in Python is. I guess we can do that. Um, I always forget whether GCD in Python allows me to, um, GCD in Python allows me to do a list, but I guess not. I, I feel like there's some language where you can take it as a list, but uh, how, how do I do it? Um, I think there's a reduce function or something like that, or map function. No, it's a reduce function, right? Uh, GCD, reduce, Python, something like that. So you could do it in one line or something, but uh, okay. So you could do something like reduce, GCD, list of S, right? Something like that. Because the idea is that if you just naively tick, uh, where was my other? Yeah, if you naively do one, one, two, 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 that's fine. But then if you have like, um, let's say four and six, right? Four numbers, one, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. The answer should be true because then now you have two as a number, which is the GCD portion. But, you know, ooh, what did I get? I will force, but this should be true. Huh. Did I miss this? Hmm. 
Because the GCD should be between four and six, and that should be unless I, may, I misunderstood it. Hmm. Um, and that should be two. I mean, maybe my representation is wrong. Oh no no, whoops! This one is clearly not right. Um, hmm. I don't know why I, st I had, still have this. I think I, I think I just left it in for some reason because I don't know. Left it in from before and forgot to take it out because I was trying to fix the second part. But uh, okay, so let's try it again. Let's give it a submit. I mean, it's not a hard problem, but it's definitely a little bit harder than easy. And I definitely just underestimated. If I really thought about it, maybe it would have been okay. Um, I wonder if. Yeah, I don't know that you can do it in a better way. Um, in the sense that I wonder if there's like some brute force way I can do it. Like you can't really test for one, two, three, dot, dot, dot. Uh, maybe you could take the smallest number and then brute for or like, you know, brute force on, on the factors or something, but that's a little bit awkward. Uh, let's take a look. We could really? Is this fast enough? Why is this fast enough? N square log log n. I guess if you already, okay, I guess if you have already have the counter, then maybe you could do it. I'm not sure though. Oh, I guess it, oh, it was 10 to the 4th. For some reason, I thought it was 10 to the 5th. Um, I, okay. I guess you can brute force. Okay, so I guess if you can brute force, then then maybe this is a easy, but yeah, I did the GCD way. Um, hmm. But this is n squared, though. Huh? Oh, I don't know. That's really awkward because I've. Mm, that's definitely too slow to be n square. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, this is a little. I mean, I'm not saying it's hard. I'm just saying it's a little bit hard for and easy. Definitely a lot of edge, or not a lot of edge cases, but definitely at least. Like, you have to really think about your edge cases at least, you know, or one edge case, or one or two edge cases, depending on how you want to think about it. But you have to think about it. Um, yeah. Anyway, this is going to be linear time, linear space. Um, linear space to do this thing. You don't even really need to set. I kind of just kept it in there because I it wouldn't change the answer because that, that's the way how GCD works. But yeah, and I kind of left the other thing in there just because I wasn't looking at it and I forgot about it. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much all I have for this one. This is easy, but um, it's marked as easy, but clearly uh, way easy to get wrong. <laughs> uh, but that's all I have. So let me know what you think. Uh, stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see you out tomorrow. See you later and take care. Bye bye.